Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI, and this is a 25-year-old male who has been hiking recently and has pain laterally. So I have a classic clinical history for iliotibial band friction syndrome, and that's exactly what they have. So this is the lateral knee, this is the medial side. You can see the medial collateral ligament, the MCL coming down here, looking nice and dark, coming off the femur to the tibia. On the outside, we have this over here, the fibular collateral ligament coming down. This is the conjoined tendon down here. The biceps muscle is here and it comes down to a tendon. It blends here into the conjoined tendon. And now we have the iliotibial band, which is over here. So the ITB comes down and kind of blends with the lateral structures here. It comes in here more anterior to the tibia. And this is called Gerdes tubercle the part that it attaches to. And between the femur and the iliotibial band, it's possible to get friction that rubs where they are hiking, and they can get inflammation. So this is too gray here. It'd be hard to pick this up on just this one sequence, but we have another one to look at this a little bit better. And I'll put up the PD fat sat sequence. And on the PD fat sat, fat is suppressed, marrow is dark, subcutaneous fat is dark, and any inflammation or edema really lights up. So you can see this abnormal bright signal between the femoral condyle and the iliotibial band, the structure right here. Again, here's Gerdes tubercle coming up. And the iliotibial band is not thickened or inflamed itself, but you can see a little edema around it and along the inner margin, especially where it rubs up against the femoral condyle. So it's just a classic, nice straightforward case of ITB friction syndrome where we see inflammation here localized this region with a clinical history that goes along with it. A little bit of fluid up here as well. Sometimes they have bursal effusions or actual fluid pocket. This is more inflammation. And that's it. Thank you so much.